conditional formatting or you can also call it as alerts which are useful to highlight the data which are helpful to highlight the data based upon the condition that whatever you are going to define okay whatever you are going to define example let's say i have let's say sub category okay sub category as well as the sales one sales business okay fine let me have the labels here now let's say i would like to define a rule by saying that if sum of sales if sum of sales is greater than or is equal to 15000 it should show it in a green otherwise red so for that whenever you are dealing with sort of conditional formatting we are going to introduce a terminology called calculation field and you have one more calculation is called parameter okay you know you will come to know that both you will come to know. but at this moment let me focus on calculation field so this calculation field is nothing but just like your customizations so whatever the customization you need you are going to define it over here as per the need basis so now i am going to introduce what calculation field and what is the rule see here i am using some kind of a formula like if formula okay something like that okay now look at this so where do you see this calculation field look at this on the top left on the left bottom you see this option right Just you just right click over here. You will see this create calculate field. Or else you can do one thing. Go to analysis. You see create calculate field. Both you can see it. Okay. Calculate field. Yes. Now give a calculation. Let's say I'm giving it as let's say like big class something like big C. Now you have to write down what if. Yep. If of what if of what sales. Sum, sum of sales. Okay. Sum of what? Sum of sales. See. Okay. If sum of sales. If sum of sales is greater than is equal to fifteen thousand. Okay. Then what? You should show it in a green color. If not, you should show it in a red color. So you have to write down a formula like this. Okay. Even if you missed out something, right? Look at this. It will show you that this calculation containing errors. So you have to make sure that you have to. all of the syntax is also and whenever you are using this kind of a functionality look at this okay it gives you okay it gives you the syntax on the top right 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 side so that syntax you have to better have you have to follow the syntax again okay, so don't forget that right fine so if you if your syntax is good now look at this the calculation is valid something like that which calculation field you have it here right now see this calculation field which are having this rule what is the rule if sum of sales is greater than is equal to 15000 it should it should be green if not right something like okay. now so that rule i am going to pass it under colors what i meant look at this now we have to change it manually these colors yes no doubt about it now go to edit colors so green this red wherever it is exceeding greater than greater than 15000 it is showing it in a green color that is the rule right but this is the rule isn't it wherever it is exceeding 15000 it should be green if not it should be red so this is the rule see okay this is the way guys this is the way you can define conditional formats okay And this one is right exclusively. This is what static. So that means constant. You are defining the input state. This is what static conditional format. Okay. And that too, you are dealing with only single. Whenever you are dealing with the single values, we are going to use if, I I F. And whenever you are going to deal with multiple 
values you are going to use if 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 okay so you have to identify the difference this is for single values and this is for multiple values so don't forget that okay now so what is the rule let's say i would like to deal with the multiple conditional for okay let's say this one is what Single, single condition form. Now the second one, what am I going to do? Multiple condition form. So first, what you supposed to do? As I told you, you have to create a calculation field. Either you can choose from here right click, you can choose here, or else go to analysis. You have what? Calculation field. Fine. So you have to define a row. What is this? Multiple calculated field. Sorry, multiple condition format. Fine. Now, what is the rule? This is the rule, guys. Simple. Okay. So the rule is, if sum of sales is greater than twenty-six thousand, okay, it should be green. If not, if sum of sales greater than twenty thousand and less than twenty-five thousand, I mean to say, in between twenty to twenty-five thousand, it should be blue color. If less than twenty thousand, it should be red color. This is what you need to define. This is the rule. Look at the rule, guys. I would like to know the subcategory as per the sales wise. But if it is greater than as equal to twenty six thousand, it should be shown to be green color. If it is in between twenty and twenty five, then it should show be as a blue color. If not, it should show red color. If it is less than twenty thousand, okay. So for that again, what you get? Simple. Look at this. If sum of Sum of what? Sum of sales. Sum of sales greater than specific value. Then green color. Then green. Else if. Here I am using else if. If not, I mean else if. Sum of sales greater than twenty thousand and twenty-five thousand. Then it should be blue. Else if again. Else if. Sum of sales less than twenty thousand. Then red. Now look at this. this calculation is valid. If you miss out something like end here, right? What will happen? It will give you error like this. Now if that is the case, now what you do? You have to use this if syntax. Look at this. Okay. If syntax you have to follow. So look at this. Okay. If profit greater than zero, then something like this. Okay. You have to follow that syntax. If not, use your errors. Okay. Now what am I going to do? Look at this. Is that sales is fine. Okay. Sales and what is another one, guys? I told you about category or subcategory, whatever it is. Subcategory. Now what happened? Right. What happened here? Again. Now this particular condition. What am I going to do? Like this. Okay. Now look at this. Rule. Right, and if you want, you can change the values. Okay, so this is the way, guys. You can change the colors as per your need basis. So in this way, you can define. And on top of it, again, right? If you want, again, whatever you want, you can perform. It's no restrictions at all. Like you know, you can choose whatever on top of it. But depends upon the need basis. We are going to perform this. Something. So in this way, we can define. Multiple conditional format also, and guys, within the same conditional format, what not? You can write down that different cases of your uh, values, okay, different cases. It's absolutely possible. Okay. Different. You can write down as case statement also. You know, I'm going to show you that case statement how we can write down all those things. 